Hello everyone. This week we are learning topic number three at school, and today let's move to part C, culture. In this part, we get to know about schools in England, a land far away from our country. So, what makes the difference of it comparing to our school? Let's start with vocabularies about parts of a school in England to know the basic difference. Of course, there are some certain similarities to ours. Canteen is a store in which food, drinks, and small supplies are sold. Corridor is a long, narrow passage inside the school with doors that lead to rooms on each side. Gym is where physical exercises and activities are performed inside, often using equipment, especially when done as a subject at school. Hall, the room just inside the main entrance to school that leads to all the rooms and usually to the stairs, large rooms used for the events involving a lot of people. ICT room. This is an abbreviation for Information and Communication Technology Room. It's a room for a school subject in which students learn to use computers and other electronic equipment to store and send information. Library. A place where books, magazines, and other materials such as videos and musical recording are available for students and teachers to use or borrow. Music room is a room set aside for practices or performing music or a public room or small home for musical performances. Playing field is a large area of crowd where sports are played. Reception is a place where the school where people when they first arrived or need information. Science lab is a big room in a school that has tables, sink, beakers, and chemicals are ready for experiments to be conducted. Teacher's room. A room in the school that is for the use of the teachers when they are not teaching. State school. State school had the opposite meaning to private school. While state school is free to go to because the government provides the money for it. The private school doesn't receive financial support from the government. So we are full important vocabularies about parts of a school in England. And here are the vocabulary for today. Hope that I have provided you with necessary information that you understand. See you around in part 3D about grammar.